Hello and welcome to part three of this series of uh, how can you manage roles using uh, the MVC, um, in this case application. On the last video, we stopped at this point and I said that we're going to continue on managing the users. So we're going to start on that and I'm going to show you right now what you can do so far. So. What we're going to cover on this video is this three section. Add a user to a row, uh, find out what roles they have, and remove a specific role from a user. So I have here three roles that I've made up from the last video, and here is where you remove them. So we're going to try it. I'm going to use my email, and I'm going to select Manager PM. Click Save. That should give us should save that user to the database. And as you can see here, we only have one user. So this user has three roles. And then this section is we're gonna find out what roles they are. So when you click here, the MVC goes and pulls up the, the roles, very simple stuff. And on this one, we basically wanna, we can remove roles. So we're gonna remove AM and the PM. So if we go back here and click get roles, we should only have one. Go back to the database, we only have one. So that's the whole story about this video. Trying to make it short so you don't waste too much time. Uh, I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna show you what or how I did it. So I'm gonna pause or stop the debugging. Uh, cancel this, close this out and close this. And I'm going to try to shrink the Visual Studio here so you can see the whole uh, window. Hopefully everything will display correctly. And the first thing I want to show you is the manage users. That's what I did uh, for this to happen. Obviously, I, I went to the roles controller and I went into... I created this action result. So this is the first thing you need to do, manage users or whatever you want. Return a view, which is in this case is the manage users uh, view and populate it with this data. So basically we're gonna call the context our database and get our list of row, uh, rows. And then just create a select item and pass it on so we go to our view that's for the list of roles so as you can see here we're using the view bag to get the roles and then casting those guys into a select list item and then we have a drop down list very simple and your text box so it everything's inside a form uh, form and it's gonna pause obviously it needs to post somewhere so as you can see here our action name is row add to user and our controller name so now we're gonna take a look at this action and it's down here so make sure you tag it as a post and this is optional but it's good to have it the next thing you need to do is get your user so you collect your username because you need to type it in and then we're going to go back to the database and find out the first user with that in this case is our email address so we're going to pop it in here save it and then we're going to make an instance of our application user manager this is the one that is connected to the roles which makes it easier to do it in this case i'm just adding it i mean we should check here if it's already there, you know, don't add it, but this is just a quick uh, tutorial, so we don't care right now. And then once you add it, you just come back and say, uh, you know, successful. I think this is not working right, so you might need to work on that on your own. But anyways, you need to let the user know that it worked. And then on the last thing, you just repopulate the list box. That's what we're doing here. Very simple stuff, not complicated. The key thing is that you need to make sure that this uh, application manager is set up correctly. If not, you're going to have a headache. So the next thing, we scroll down. 
the next one we have is get roles so it's pretty simple just type in your username and click and we go down to the next one right here get roles get a username you know make sure it's not blank or no and then we're gonna go pull it out and then same thing use the same application manager to get the roles in the list and then pop it in into the list box very simple to use then we go down to the next one this one is deleting a user from a role same kind of same idea get the username and we're gonna pull get the username and the role from the drop down list and we're gonna go pull the user make sure you get the user id that's the one is where we're gonna target from the username from the database and then we just go and remove from role from using the manager so make sure the application uh, manager is connected correctly if not it's not gonna delete it from your database and you know these forms are pretty simple you can use the racer syntax or just your regular form it'll, it'll work the same way so this is it hopefully this will help you out on completing your uh, managing users adding to roles deleting from the roles and so on and so on so i'm gonna be posting this code last portion of the code which is from here down on github if you have any questions let me know thank you for watching